Wait. How did he catch on fire like that? Alright. I'm over-caffeinated. I'm overworked. Uh, missing a medication. Super in the headspace to do this. So let's get into it. We just left off on the zombies. Slid down from there. Um, and we need to go find... Octavia? I don't even watch my own videos. I think we're looking for Octavia. Oh, is that guy gonna stop me? Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Oh, definitely not. I wasn't, but now I am. <laughs> Contrary little cap of murder, aren't you? Yeah, it's just a rude... Everything, every time they say something in Latin, it's just a swear word. Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Hannibal? Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? A few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts the Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? Okay, so... So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. Sprawled out on the ground, I saw a creature. Mm. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Oh, I'm definitely going in there. That was a great story, but I'm still going down there. Well, it's your funeral. I have a golden bow, I think. I have no bullets. Oh, yeah. I got 16 arrows, though. <laughs> oh, it's just these. Impressive. I'm sitting far too close to the screen. It's giving me weird feelings. I know. It's because you're a statue. Lunar pendant. Sendia death. It's probably a Latin thing. Is that like the whole thing? Is that like all that's down here? Okay, what's this? Find a creative way into the upper cistern. This game is insulting my intelligence. It <laughs> is it gonna give me a little pat on the head when I get up here? to the vines with my feet. Am I supposed to be able to jump? Wow, okay. Who needs creative ways into the cistern when you're Spider-Man? Italian plumber achievement. Captive weeping. This seems interesting. Do we have any zombos to deal with before we deal with you. I mean, if she's crying now, she's probably just gonna stay there and cry, so I might as well look around the room first. I feel like rushing over is what a chump does. Alright, fine. I could just turn her to gold. Look at how beside herself she is. You... Who are you? Did he send you? I'm Cass and nobody sent me. I love the dialogue choices. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. Look how dirty she is. I'm Centilla. Centilla. I found a way out through the gate of corn, but it's locked. So I told him about it and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. Who did this to you? Sentius. My adoptive father. Oh! You always helped me. 
I'll castrate and crucify him. Uh, hmm. Is Sentius the god? How hasn't this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Yeah, it's not. I don't think it's a god. Where's the way out? What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck. Even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. Tempting. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? I'm letting you go. Let's get out of here together. None of those are my answer. My answer is I'm going to leave her here and go talk to her dad about the fact that I, the fact that I found her. But sure, let's oh, try getting out. Thank you. Now for... Wait. Did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Oh, he's gonna be upset. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? You're looking like a California raisin right now. As if I'd tell you. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted plan, Al. You remember Al? Wait, what? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. This is a big twist. You see, my connection to the world somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. Mm. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life. Just before he was shot with a golden arrow. Mm. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. Yes, I'm I'd have preferred amazing. if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the two? Not many. Mm. But don't worry, I'm sure there'll be another useful idiot who comes along after you're dead. So, you've discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Going to die a painful death for this. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bird? It's magic. I probably could, but I'm gonna let her have Ooh. this one. Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. Ooh. Wait. How did he catch on fire like that? That was something else. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. This is exciting. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Create a time paradox. Whoops. Didn't know I was going to stumble on an ending just by walking into the cistern. Talk to Al. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Al Worth, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Cass. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty. But the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. 
It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Weird, that definitely wasn't me. I didn't for one moment think it was, but <laughs> the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean, how many people with that name could there be in this place? I don't understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Well, I'm just dropping it on this guy all at once, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, come again. I still have the suicide note. Um, let me see. God, why does this writing? I've spent okay. a lifetime in this place. Go. This is... Oh, this is disturbing. <laughs> I changed the past. And your fate. I... Uh, I'm not following. Yeah, me and you both. I helped Centilla kill the man who opened the time coral and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying... Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Thank you for summing it up. Now you're getting it. I guess you saved my life then, as well as helping that poor woman to escape. That's a lot to take in. Yeah. Enough talk, how about we get out of this place? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Centilla used, if we can find it. It's right here in the cistern, follow me. Guess I'll unsneak now. Aqueduct. What a exciting walk that was. Let's sprint it out. Did I find an ending? Let's go see that lady. I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. By banging this one spot. You go on ahead, and I'll be there soon. Hey, lady. You're back. But you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a oh, moment. What a relief. Thank you so much. I was... Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? I don't want to do that. Ugh. This game gives me no choices. I discovered the ruins of an ancient underground city. Really? Sounds amazing. And Al... It's so good to see you. You were gone so long, I thought I'd never see you again. Is he gonna kill her? Kinda lost track of time in there. No? You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. He name-dropped! Describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of... Well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? What? How could you... What? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. Did it say anything I about me? I think she meant for you to read it. Oh. Here. Did she mention me? I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but I want you to know that I will never forget you, or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Opus, She's Cynthia, really gonna name them. Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, or Dooley, and the others. But please understand, their blood is on my hands, not yours. I will live with the consequences of my actions, <laughs> and all Free. I can do is move forward, trying to show others the same compassion you showed me. I promise you that saving my life will not be for nothing. Centilla. That's nice. That's real nice. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first... First? You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I ferry you back to civilization? Oh. Sounds good to me. This and you? camera angle... Are you ready to go home? I'm ready to take us home. I thought maybe I'd get a chance to go back or... The one that got away. Reach ending two of four. Okay. Number two of four. Huh. How many might have survived if you'd walked away from Scintilla? Tap to continue. 
Oh, now I have to see the faces of the people that I've been disrespecting. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nick Pierce and Alexander Goss and John Iyer. I really didn't... Uh, okay, I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to get more endings. I really didn't dislike the game. It was really fun. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, but let's just get into it and try for another ending. Now, do we get to continue from my last save? I think. I hope so. If so, we got another ending. Like, immediately. Alright, let's get the next ending. We're just gonna skip. It's too dangerous. Let me see if I can persuade Sentius to let us go. It's no use. You'll never persuade him of anything. I'm telling you, he's a monster. Please. I'm guessing he's gonna come down here. I can be fairly persuasive. You're making a mistake. You're fine. Relax. You weren't going anywhere anyway. All right. Okay, so the obvious thing to do is to talk to him. I bet I know someone who would be very interested. There she is. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. Can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? I know where she is. It was three weeks ago. We, we went into our rooms. I went. So you. Okay, this. Oh, thank you. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. I'm still investigating. So this is just basic. I know where then. she is. She's enough. in the I basement. Have you scurrilous gossip about my sister's tragic death. Kindly keep your insane conspiracy theories to yourself and leave. How about now? Let me grieve my sister's death in peace, will you? Wow. Nice bullshit game. I know exactly where her sister is, and I can't tell her. Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about sure your Sure as fuck do. Me? What are you talking about? You're keeping her tied up in the cistern. <laughs> you know, you remind me. Who? Al. Al Worth. The fellow who came through the portal before you. Now we gotta do this again. Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the <clears> only. <throat> you <clears throat> see, <throat> my connection to... But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. He yeah. was a moralist, and because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day. I watched him come through the portal each time. Always a little older, a little more disheveled. A little more and when he finally saw the next I mean you've only three extremely impressive and yet everything you've done has been in vain because there's no escape except the path that Al took so you discovered my secret you knew there was a way out you even locked your own daughter to keep it a secret why or you're sick why isn't it obvious because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds. I hear more frogs children. croaking right and now. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. 
to cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Hand over the key. And why would I agree to that? If you don't hand it over, you might have an uprising on your hands. You might want to think that through. If anyone so much as touches me, everyone dies. This isn't over. Uh, you and your I didn't mean to say understand. that. I certainly hope not. In fact, I want it to go on and on forever until you wither and die like Al did and the gods send yet another useful idiot to extend my life for me. Maybe I'll just kill you. We both know you're not that stupid, so go on, make your empty threats and stomp your feet and beg the gods for help if you like. But believe me when I tell you, the gods don't care about you. And neither do Ooh, I. Thumbnail quote. Now get out of my villa, I'm bored with you. Cool. Now what? The turnaround. Arve again. Did you find what you need? How would I go about talking to whichever god is responsible for the golden rule? Well, I suppose we'd first need to figure out which god that is. This might sound like a strange question, but please, humor me. How did you find your way here? Hmm. Come on, spit it out. I apologize. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that you've got me thinking. Have you spoken no, with don't. any of the others? I really think uh, you should. All right, I'll do that. Good. I just... Thank you. Now, go and follow the thread of truth through... Come back So to I have to go ask everybody how they got here. Is the next step towards the next ending, I guess. I guess we'll start with you. Feeling all right? How did you get here? What's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Oh, sister. You and me both. How did you end up here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke. And the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. Fair enough. Well, come back if you get okay, sick. Okay, so everyone has a really long story that ends with them being in a river. So I guess... I guess we'll just ask everyone to confirm that for us. Let's go talk to that bartender lady. Or let's talk to the crazy lady now that we know some stuff. Maybe she uh, has something insightful to say. Just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world, so this place accepts all mm. the souls. But it does not notice the crowds that come. What's your story? Can you tell me about the pattern you saw? You think you I wish think to know, but you I do. do not. It is better for you if you remain ignorant. Let's confirm that you also got here by a wow. river. Wow, isn't that a big long bow? Ah, oh, you're here. I'm so glad you decided to visit. I'm doing? Aurelia, 
And, uh, I hope I'm not being too... I can tell from the... What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't... <sighs> I tell... Let's just forget that ever. You know, no... I guess that went right over She's your head. She's annoying to talk no, to. As a matter of... I'm happy to... Sir. Ha! Huh, I'm impressed. Didn't take you long to gather quite the little fortune. And now for my end of the bargain. Here hmm. is your way out. Hemlock. Small bottle of deadly poison. Many ancient Romans used to commit suicide. Beautiful. This is hemlock. Drink this and your life will be over in no time. Because the only way out of here is death. Congrat. Sorry, a deal's a deal. No refunds. I'm I'm cool with this. Oh, I think it is. Pleasure doing business. Why with does you. the game force me into It's really this really drives me nuts. You like I got a thousand gold for truth. poison, which I could conceivably use. I'm not mad. I'm not gonna demand my money back. I'm not gonna take it by force. Like why does the game like assume it knows exactly how I'm going to react to something? It just bugs me. Can we put it in something of the Emperor's? Maybe? Poison him? I could just kill him. If I can find him. I think that'll give us another ending. Please talk to me. Let me grieve my sisters. I found her. Your father has been keeping her tied up in the upper cistern. Yes! What? Is this some kind of crude comedy? I'll take you with me. No, surely not. Father, is this true? I'm afraid it is. I, I don't understand. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Because you found a way out. And if you're wondering why I'm telling you this, it's because you're never going to remember any of it. All I have to do is commit a sin, and the day will begin again. Watch this. I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. What did he do? Gracious, help me! Kill me! do oh I think it is pleasure doing business with you okay so do I turn someone to gold to restart the day go through he'll remember that we had that conversation though yeah I think Maliolus would be a better choice I haven't even met him and I think that Let's just try killing uh, the Magistrate ourselves. Where the hell are all these people? Where is everyone? The many shall suffer for the sins now what? of the one. I still have my bow. Sure do. Ignoring you. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing with that bow on your back? 
I'm Cass, and I need you to take care of some things urgently. Oh, sounds serious. I'm listening. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Wow, you're very compliant. I'll go, but once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know all of this. Saves us the work. Don't be so foolish. If you kill me, we all die. And if I die, I won't be able to open the portal for you again, meaning you'll have created a paradox. You see, it was my actions. I know, I know. To this point, that means. Now, get out. The many shall suffer. For the sins of the one. Why are you not turning to gold? There we go. Just wanted to see what would happen. There we go. See? New ending. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate. Breaking some kind of ancient law. Yeah. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled, and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's yeah, apparent. Yeah, uh, we were there. The citizens screamed and died. Yeah, just happened. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? Uh, okay, we we've kind of covered this. Um, let me. God, why here's the suicide the note. I. So you're saying. Now you're getting yes, it. To let me, d I can't see how I could possibly find one now. So, it seems like we're both gonna die here. Oh. I regret nothing. How can you say that? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. And it's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius, multis dolabunt. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Hmm. Oh, that's the first ending. Okay, so we've gotten endings one and two. I want four so bad, and I know what it is. It's the one where you kill the god. All right, so we're going to end it there for today. Uh, I'm going to come back and search for the rest of the endings. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, and have a good day.